This is Adi Sharma Solution Class 12, Chapter 11 Differentiation, MCQ Multiple Choice Question we are taking. So every question will have four options and most of the question we have already covered in our previous discussions. So those who have idea, they can uh, you know solve by themselves. For those who need a little uh, advice for them, the answer is already being shown. But those who want to understand how it is being it is to be done, let us see. So fx is given as it is fx is log. The base is x square and then log x. So we have already seen this kind of thing log a b that is a is base. So we can write it as log b by log a. And second thing, one more important thing will come. I'll just show you. But let us uh, first write it as log log x and divided by log x square. Now this log x square, as I said, one more property of log is the power comes in front. So it will be b log a in this case. So here in the denominator, you will have log log x divided by 2 log x. Okay. Now let us do the differentiation, which is f dash x. 2 will talk about that because it will remain like that. So we are going to differentiate log log x divided by log x. It is to be done using the quotient rule. Log x whole square in the denominator. Here we have log x. Now differentiation of log log x. So log log x, so 1 by log x and the differentiation of log x will be 1 by x minus. Then we have log log x already done. Differentiation of log x we have to do. So it will be 1 by x. Okay. Now what, what can we do? We have to find out the f dash x at x equals e. So let us resolve it more. Log x, log x gets cancelled. This is 1 by x, 1 by x. We can take 1 by x common and 2 is already there. This is 1 by x already taken. So 1 minus log log x divided by log x whole square. So what you have to do is put x as e. So we have 1 by 2 into e. Here we have 1 minus log and log x and x is e. What is e? Log e, e is 1. I'll just show you how we are doing this because log base is e and we, we have log again base e with e. So e, e that is what e to the power 1 is e only. So this log e, e will be 1. So this is 1. So log e 1. So this is going to be uh, 0. This log e1, log e e is one, is a uh, one, and then log e1 is the first thing I'm saying is the base, okay? So log base e1 is zero. So one minus zero divided by what is log e e again one? So one minus zero by one square. So this is simply equal to one by one. So you will only get one by two e. One by two e is the result. Let me tell you again, e to the power zero is one. So log base e1 is coming like this. So finally, this numerator denominator will be 1 by 1, which is going to be 1 only. So only 1 by 2 e will remain. And that's your final answer. The differential coefficient of f log x with respect to x, where fx equals to log x is. Now fx is given as this log x. Now we have to find out the differential coefficient. So it's, it's related to differential equation. In place of x, when you put log x, it will be log here also log x. So log log x. In place of x, we are replacing it by log x. So we will find f dash x, which is f, f dash log x in this case. The differentiation of log log x is what? 1 by log x. And then differentiation of log x is 1 by x. So it will be 1 by x log x. So this is f dash x log x. And x, do, x log x, if you take it, uh, if you transfer it in to the numerator, it will be x log x to the power minus 1. This is your answer. The derivative of the function cot inverse under root cos 2x. y is equal to cot inverse under root cos 2x. You can write it as the power of half, half also. Under root is nothing but power of half. And it is a cos 2x to the power half. If you have x to the power half, that does that only means under root x we are talking about. And we have to find out at x equals to pi by 3, which is 30 degree. 
Now let us take dy by dx, which is cot inverse is simply minus 1 by 1 plus x square. So minus 1 by 1 plus x square. What is x square? Under root cos 2x whole square, which is cos 2x only. So cos 2x, now differentiation of under root cos 2x now. Under root cos 2x, anything with the power half is 1 by twice of under root of that thing. So let me show you this. It is basically n x to the power n minus 1 kind of things. So we have next one is minus cos 2x differentiation is minus sin 2x and the differentiation of 2x is 2. So finally what you will get? This cos 2x minus half will go in the denominator under root cos 2x, 2, 2 gets cancelled, negative will be there. So this whole I have told you, the differentiation of under root cos 2x. So this minus is already there. So this minus minus, if you write it like this, minus sign 2x divided by under root cos 2x, minus minus gets cancelled. You have sign 2x divided by, okay, we can do one thing. Sin 2x is 2 sin x cos x. Sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta. 1 plus cos 2 theta is 2 cos square x by 2, which is 2x, so it will be only x. So 2 cos square x. Now we may cancel this 2 and 2 and cos and cos. So under root cos 2x this is, so cos cos gets cancelled. And this sine by cos can be written as 10x. 10x divided by under root cos 2x. Now this is dy by dx, but we need to find it for x equals to pi by 6. x is pi by 6, which is 30 degree. So 10 pi by 6, 10 30 degree divided by under root cos 2 into pi by 6, which is going to be pi by 3. Pi by 3 is 60 degree. So cos 60 degree and tan 30 degree. Tan 30 degree is 1 by root 3. Cos pi by 3, which is uh, half. So it will be half, under root of half. So 1 by root 3 divided by 1 by root 2. Now this goes up. So under root 2 divided by under root 3, which is nothing but 2 by 3 to the power half. 2 to the 2 to the power half, uh, 3 to the power half, which is 2 by 3 to the power half. So you can choose the uh, right choice here. Differential coefficient of sec tan inverse x. Again, the differential equation. So there will be a differential equation being formed. It will be formed, and you will see what I'm, uh, the answer is to be. Y is sec tan inverse x. So dy by dx is. So sec of this is what? Sec is sec theta is sec theta tan theta. So whatever is inside will be sec that thing and tan that thing. So sec tan inverse x, sec theta and tan theta. So tan, tan inverse x. Now this tan inverse x differentiation is 1 by 1 plus x square. So 1 by 1 plus x square. So these two are in the bracket. Okay. Now sec tan inverse x is what? It is y only because from where we have started it is y. This is y. You can write y in this case in place of this. Stand tan inverse you can cancel only x will remain here and 1 by 1 plus x square already is there. So 1 by 1 plus x square. So this is a form of the differential equation. dy by dx is equal to x by 1 plus x square into y. So when we have the differential equation like this, the differential coefficient of this sec tan inverse x will be what? x by 1 plus x square. All right. Oh, there is under root also. Sorry, sorry. There, there is there is under root. No, there, there is two. So, this is going to be your answer. Okay. Now, fx is tan inverse under root 1 plus sin x by 1 minus sin x. So, this is between 0, x and pi by 2. So, we have f inverse 30 degree. Pi by 6 is 30 degree. So we'll just use the you know trigonometric uh, identities which we know. Fx is tan inverse under root one plus sine x. Sine x, see, cos ninety plus theta and cos ninety minus theta both will give you sine, but one is positive, one is negative. So sine x can be written as cos pi by two plus x because cos pi by two plus x will give you the negative sine pi sine x. So in place of sine x, you can write cos pi by 2 plus x because cos 90 plus theta is minus sine theta and minus minus will become plus. So it will be eventually equal to 1 plus sine theta only. So 1 plus sine x we can write. So we can write 1 minus cos pi by 2 plus x in this case. And then the denominator we have 1 minus sine x, simply same thing. We can write cos pi by 2 plus x. 
which will which will again give you some negative negative sin x, and because we need positive in the denominator, we ought to have a negative in between. So we can write one minus sin x as one plus cos pi by two plus x. This is the best way to write. Now, why we have done this? Because one plus cos two theta or one plus cos theta, we know the formation of that. One minus cos whatever angle is there. 1 minus cos theta if I write it is 2 sin square theta by 2 and 1 plus cos theta is nothing but 2 uh, 1 is 2 sin square theta by 2 1 is 2 cos square theta by 2 1 plus cos theta is this so 1 minus cos pi by 2 plus x can be written as 2 sin square pi by 4 plus x by 2 because pi by 2 plus x divided by 2 is nothing but multiplication of 2 half so pi by 4 plus x by 2 it will be so 2 sin square pi by 4 plus x by 2 denominator you have 2 cos square pi by 4 plus x by 2, 2, 2 you can cancel, under root is there, sin square by cos square is 10 square, so 10 square pi by 4 plus x by 2 is there, pi by 4 plus x by 2. And since we have an under root, this under root can cancel the square, so you will get 10 pi by 4 plus x by 2, alright. So we have tan inverse, you can cancel this tan and tan inverse, fx is there, so it will be pi by 4 plus x by 2. Now we haven't done the differentiation up till now. This is still still fx. Now we have to do f dash x now. f dash x is what? Differentiation of pi by 4 plus x by 2. Pi by 4 plus x by 2. Pi by 4 is a constant. It will give you 0. And x by 2. So it will be only half. x x by 2 is only half. So f dash x is half here. d by dx. So f dash pi by 6. Whatever you want to put. Put. But the answer will remain same. It is a constant. So it will be half. Value is half. Half. y is equal to 1 plus 1 by x to the power x. So this is a question we have already done. And please remember the first option is 1 plus 1 by x log log. There is a log missing log 1 plus 1 by x minus 1 by x plus 1. The first option. You will see why I am saying this. y is equal to 1 plus 1 by x to the power x. Whenever we have fx to the power gx form, then we always take the log. It will make us solution easier. So this log y, I am taking log now. So log y is x will come in front. It will be x log 1 plus 1 by x. x plus 1 plus 1 by x. So we have differentiation now 1 by y dy by dx is equal to, these are two terms. So we will apply the product rule. x log 1 plus 1 by x is 1 by 1, by 1 plus 1 by x. And differentiation of 1 plus 1 by x is 1 is 0. 1 by x is minus 1 by x square. So minus 1 by x square it is. This is done like this and then plus log 1 plus 1 by x will remain like that and then we have the differentiation of x which is 1 only okay so 1 1 plus 1 by x is in the denominator it will give you x plus 1 by x in the denominator so when it goes in the numerator it will be x by x plus 1 so x into x by x plus 1 this is x by x plus 1 x by x plus 1 and you have minus 1 by x square so x square x square you can cancel now minus 1 by x plus 1 and plus log 1 plus 1 by x all right so now we have this y also it will go on the right hand side in the numerator so let me write it here 1 plus 1 by x to the power x which is given in the question uh, this can be rearranged just to match the answers what we need because there are four options and I indicated you earlier that the first option 1 plus 1 by 1 by x to the power x, then we have a log, then we have 1 plus 1 by x minus 1 by x plus 1, which is matching our answer also. So this is matching our answer. If you see the last option also, if you have a negative in between, so log 1 plus 1 by x minus 1 by x plus 1. That is why the first is the option. If you see there is, if it is negative in the fourth option, it would have been the answer. But since there is a slight uh, misprint, which is log 1 plus 1 by x in the first option, that's why the option will be first. All right. So there are uh, things which we have already done. We have already taken uh, this in uh, advance. But uh, you just have to see the answer, find out the answer and match it. That's what, even if there is misprint or whatever, it doesn't matter. If x to the power y is equal to e to the power x minus y, then dy by dx is. So whenever it is there, take the log. This is the best option. 
So we have x to the power y is equal to e to the power x minus y. Take the log y log x is equal to x minus y log base e. e is 1. So you can just simply write 1 in this case. x minus y. Log base e is 1. y log x. Now we will differentiate. Oh no. Let us take y on the right hand side. You see y. y log x plus y I am taking on the left hand side. x will remain on the right. So y you can take common 1. y 1 plus log x is x. So this y equals x y 1 plus log x. Now differentiation will be through the quotient rule. Quotient rule. So 1 plus log x whole square in the denominator. 1 plus log x here. Differentiation of x will be 1. So I am not writing it. Minus x you can write directly like that and 1 plus log x differentiation is what? 1 by x. 1 plus log x, will let me show you again. 1 is differentiated as 0, log x is 1 by x. So 1 by x will come and xx gets cancelled. You will have a minus 1. So 1 plus log x minus 1. So only log x will come in the numerator. 1 plus log x minus 1, 1, 1 gets cancelled. Log x in the numerator, log x divided by 1 plus log x whole square. And that's your final answer. And which is the final option, I think, I think this one. Now we have... Uh, fx is equal to 4x to the power 8. Now f dash half is given f dash minus half, then uh, f half, f minus half. So we will take the fx and f dash x and we will put all these values half and minus half. And we will see which one of these are equal. f dash x is 4 into nx to the power, uh, nx to the power n minus 1, so 8x to the power 7. So 32x to the power 7. This is f dash x. Now we are placing the value of f half. f half is what? 4 half to the power 8. Now what is uh, 4? It's nothing but 2 square. So when it goes down, 2 to the power 8 minus 2 to the power 2. So this goes in the denominator. So 2 to the power 6 it will be. 2 to the power 5 is 32. It is going to be 1 by 64. This is f half. When you put f minus half, this is also same. Why? Because we have 4 into minus half to the power 8. And since negative is having a power of 8 which is even so it will be 4 into half to the power 8 only and that will remain as 1, 1 by 64 so f half and f minus half are equal so from here we can see that f half f minus half which one is this so this c i seems to be correct there may be some because i have taken directly from the book so there can be some uh, misprint but we are very sure that f half is equal to f minus half let us check more with the f dash x so we have f dash x need to check. So f, f dash half. These all three are different. f half. So this is 32 x to the power 7, which is half to the power 7. So we have 32, that is 2 to the power 5. And we have a 2 to the power 7 in the denominator. So when this 2 to the power 7 uh, is subtracted from 2 to the power 5, that is 2 to the power 7 minus 5, it is 2 to the power 2, which is going to be 1 by 4. And f dash minus half is going to be 1. See, since the power is uh, odd here, so it will be negative. Minus half to the power 7 will be negative. Alright. So this is going to be minus 1 by 4. So one minus 1 by 4, 1 by 4 are not equal. 1 by 64 and 1 by 64 are equal. And that in this question, it means f half is equal to f minus half. Whenever this question comes in, in your exam, then you just have to say f half is equal to f minus half. There is no point in uh, actually checking for f dash because they are different. So f dash, wherever you see f dash in the options, uh, you don't go for it. Best ways to do this. And final answer is to match with this. Okay. So I hope you'll be, you understood this. It's, it's quite a, a straightforward and a easy uh, answer. Now x is a cos cube theta, y is a sin cube theta. So we have to find under root 1 plus dy by dx whole square. So first we will find out dy by dx and then we will go about squaring it, adding it and then taking the square root. So we will take dx by d theta and dy by d theta. dx by d theta is a cos cube theta is what? 3 cos square theta. a 3 cos square theta and minus sin theta. So 3a minus I am taking outside. And then we have sin theta cos square theta. We always write with the increasing power, the order of power. That's why how we write. dy by d theta. So I'm differentiating this now. This is a sin cube is 3 sin square theta. And sin theta is cos theta. So we have dy by dx, uh, dy by d theta, dx by d theta. So 3a cos theta sin square theta it is. So dy by dx can be found out using dy by d theta divided by 
dx by d theta. So dy by d theta is 3a cos sin square theta. dx by d theta is minus 3a sin theta cos square theta. I am bringing it down in one step only. So 3, 3, 3a, 3a gets cancelled. Only negative will remain. 1 cos, 1 cos cancel, 1 sin, 1 sin cancel. Finally, you will get minus sin by cos, which is going to be minus tan theta. So this is your dy by dx. Now, the question is asking under root 1 plus dy by dx whole square. So minus tan theta square is tan theta only. Tan theta square only. Minus square is plus. So 1 plus tan square theta. 1 plus tan square theta is what? It is a sex square theta. When you have under root sex square theta, see under root uh, x square means what? It is under root x square is mod of x. It can be negative, it can be positive because the power of 2 will become will make negative as positive. So sex square theta, whenever you take it would have been minus x square theta or x square theta. Both ways you will get x square theta only. Alright. So what do you get here? You get only sec theta but it has to be put in, in the modulus. Absolute value. This is answer. y is equal to sin inverse 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square. Then dy by dx is what? dy by dx we have to find out. So the other way is to put x square as something here like cos 2 theta uh, like this and you can solve it. But you should get sine sin plus some theta inside so that you can cancel sine and sine inverse. Now the best way is to solve the way it is. So we have y equals sine inverse 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square dy by dx is sine inverse is what? 1 by under root 1 minus x square. So 1 by under root 1 minus this 1 minus x square divided by 1 plus x square. Okay. This is your 1 by under root 1 minus x square, then we have d by dx of 1 minus x square divided by 1 plus x square. So this uh, will give you this denominator. I am telling you the denominator now. So 1 plus x square goes here, 1 plus x square, minus 1 plus x square whole square, please remember it is 1 plus x square whole square, 1 minus x square whole square. I am taking the denominator, 1 plus x square whole square in the denominator now. Okay. So this is uh, a square plus b square, a square minus b square. So a square minus uh, b square is a minus b a plus b. So a minus b a plus b I am writing. So a plus b a minus b. So 1 plus x square plus 1 minus x square and 1 plus x square minus 1 minus x square. So x square x square goes here 1 1 goes. It is uh, 2 and 2 x square. So 4 x square you get in the numerator of the denominator. So 4 x square here 1 plus x whole square is in the denominator. So when it comes out of the uh, root you will get 2 x and denominator will be 1 plus x square. Alright. Now this is 1 by. So you have to take the uh, reciprocal of it. 1 plus x square will go in the numerator, 2x will come in the denominator and this this is the first thing, this this part. Differentiation we haven't done yet of 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square. So we will do it using the quotient rule. Quotient rule is what? Now I'm doing this one. 1 plus x square whole square, 1 plus x square here. Differentiation of 1 minus x square, so 1 minus x square differentiation is 1 is 0 and minus 2x. So minus 2x you can write. Then you have 1 minus x square and then 1 plus x square is 2x. So what do you get? You multiply inside minus 2x minus 2x cube and here 2x just assume that it is in front. So minus 2x and plus 2x cube. This is numerator only. So you can just cancel 2x cube and 2x cube minus 2x minus 2x will be minus 4x. In the denominator we already have 1 plus x square whole square. This one. So we have two terms. One first was first one result was 1 plus x square by 2x. So you can cancel one of this 2x and uh, minus 4x as you will get minus 2. 1 plus x square here, 1 plus x square in the denominator. So minus 2 by 1 plus x square you will get. So minus 2 by 1 plus x square, wherever you get that is your final answer. The derivative of sec inverse 1 by 2x square plus 1 with respect to under root 1 plus 3x at x equals to minus 1 by 3. Now what you have to do is just put x equals to minus 1 by 3 in 1 by 2x square plus 1. You will see the result. And also this u, if you assume that 1 to be u, v, 1 to be v, the intent will be du by dx you will find out, dv by dx you will find out and then you will divide them so that you get du by dv. That's what du by dv and that is what the question is asking. But what value you are going to put inside 1 by 2x square plus 1, is it valid or not? For example, if you take under root 1 plus 3x, just, just uh, we are discussing, right? Uh, I will go with x equals to minus 1 by 3, but from here also 1 plus 3, 3x cannot be less than 0. That is, if you put this under root 0 is not defined. So 1 plus 3x equal to 0. What you are going to get x equal to, x equal to minus 1 by 3. So it is not valid here also. 
Under root 1 plus 3x with x equals to minus 1 by 3 is not defined. And what about 1 by 2x squared plus 3 when you put minus 1 by 3 because x equals to minus 1 by 3 you have to take. So what do you get? You get uh, this 9, 2 by 9 plus 1. So 2 plus 9 by 9, that is going to be 11 by 9. It goes up. So 9 by 11 you will get. Now the thing is, if we have sec inverse theta, that theta has to be between negative 1 and 1. It cannot go beyond that. So minus 1 and 1 is the range of validity of sec inverse theta. But this 9 by 11, if, you, if, if, if I can actually divide it, you'll get you some 0.8 stuff will come. But 0.8 is between minus 1 and 1. So you cannot go about it. Okay. So second verse theta, theta is not valid. When the theta is not valid, 1 by 2x square plus 1, we have just seen it is 9 by 11, which is uh, eventually equal to 0.8, which is between minus 1 and 1. So theta is not between minus 1 and 1. And minus 1 and 1. So you, you cannot have an answer. Neither 1 by 2x square plus 1 is defined, nor under root 1 plus 3x is defined. Both of them are not defined when you have x equals to negative 1 by 3. That is why the answer will be does not exist. All right. So rather than uh, going about du by dx, dv by dx, dividing it du by dv, uh, better way is to check for x equals to minus 1 by 3 for the validity of second verse theta, theta inside. And also under root 1 plus 3x is giving you the same result because if you put x equals to minus 1 by 3, it, it goes undefined. So both of the u and v are undefined. So how, how can you go about uh, finding out the differentiation? For the curve under root x plus under root y equals 1, uh, dy by dx at 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 we have to find out. So we'll differentiate this and then we'll put x and y as finally as 1 by 4 and 1 by 4. So we have under root x plus under root y equals 1. So d by dx of under root, d by dx of under root y, root x is 1 by twice of under root x and then this is also 1 by twice of under root y and y differentiation is dy by dx and on the right differentiation of 1 is going to be 0. 0. Now just take dy by dx on one side, all others on the other side. So 1 by 2 root y dy by dx will give you, I'm taking it on the right hand side, 1 by 2 root x in the negative. Now 2, 2 you can cancel and root u, root y will go in the numerator of the right hand side. So root y by root x you will find out. That is nothing but y, y to the power x, y by x under root. Negative is outside already. Now we'll find out dy by dx at x equals 1 by, 1 by 4 and y equals 1 by 4. So just put it here. In place of y, put 1 by 4. In place of x, put 1 by 4, under root 1 by 4. You will get 1 by 2, here also 1 by 2. There is negative already outside, half of gets cancelled. So you will get a negative 1 here. So the final answer will be negative 1. Alright. So now here we have, if sine x plus y equals, to, equals log x plus y, then dy by dx is what? See, sine x plus y equals log x plus y. We'll differentiate and just see what, what we get for dy by dx. So d by dx I'm doing sine theta is cos theta. So sine is cos x plus y. Differentiation of x plus y will be 1 plus dy by dx. Then log x plus y is 1 by x plus y. And differentiation of x plus y is going to be 1 plus dy by dx. 1 plus dy by dx. Now dy by dx Multiply everything and dy by dx on one side, others on other side. So this multiply this, cos x plus y into 1. Multiply, multiply everything. So cos x plus y into 1 is 1 only and then cos x plus y into dy by dx. So you have cos x plus y into dy by dx in this case. On the right you will get 1 by x plus y into 1 by x plus y into dy by dx. Now bring this dy by dx together and the other things on one side. So you can take either on either side. It, it's not a you know, rule or something. Bring uh, things here. So cos x plus y minus one, 1 by x plus y here. And then we have this 1 by x plus y into dy by dx. So dy by dx I'm taking common dy by dx. So we have 1 by x plus y minus cos x plus y. And what do you see here? The left hand side and right hand side are exactly same. If you just change the negative sign, if I multiply this by negative, what do you get? You'll get this one. So you can just cancel with the negative uh, remaining. So dy by dx will be only minus 1 because it, it is getting cancelled. So what do you get? It's minus 1. This is your answer. Okay, this is u and this is v. And uh, if you remember, you have uh, 
very short answer question. We have already taken this and in, in, in other exercises also, we have already taken this question. So this is not uh, the way to solve it. This is just for your an idea. For those who wants, want to them, uh, do themselves, this is just an idea. What I'm trying to suggest is we have already done it. So I'm just going forward. This has been taken. d by dx of tan inverse cos x by 1 plus sin x. This equals what? So first we will try to simplify this in a trigonometric way. Tan inverse will remain like that. Concentrate on inside thing. So you have cos 2x as cos square x minus sin square x. But when it is cos x, 2x becomes x. But when you have x, on the right it will become x by 2. So cos x can be written as cos square x by 2 minus sin square x by 2. Cos 2 theta is cos square theta minus sin square theta. Same thing we are doing here. And in the denominator, 1. 1 is there. So 1 can be written as sin square theta plus cos square theta. So cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2 will be 1. And sin x will, can be written as 2 sin x by 2 cos by x by 2. That we already know. So 1 is uh, sin square theta plus cos square theta. And sin x will be 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2. Alright. So this we can write here. This is a square, this is b square, this is 2ab. So this is a square plus b square plus 2ab. So this is cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 whole square. So the numerator becomes a square minus b square it is. So you can write it as a minus b a plus b. It is a square minus b square. So a square minus b square. So a minus b a plus b. So cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2. And then we have cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2. And in the denominator you have what? cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 whole square. So you, you can cancel this and uh, cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 divided by cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2. Now divide all terms by cos x by 2. Just divide it, cos x by 2. So cos x by 2 cos x by 2 will, will give you 1. Sin x by 2 cos x by 2 tan x by 2. Uh, this cos x by 2 cos x by 2 is 1. And sin x by 2 cos x by 2 is tan x by 2. But still, we need some tan so that we can cancel it with tan inverse. Tan pi by 4, tan 45 degrees 1. So you can write in this place tan pi by 4 minus tan x by 2. In the denominator 1, assume it to be 1 into tan x. So we have 1 plus tan pi by 4 into tan x by 2. Now this tan a minus tan b by 1 plus tan a tan b is what? Tan a minus b. So you can write this is tan inverse tan, tan pi by 4 minus x by 2. So tan inverse you can cancel these two, tan inverse and tan. And now you are just left with pi by 4 minus x by 2. This is only remaining. So y is equal to pi by 4 minus x by 2. Now let us differentiate. So this is going to be 0 and this is minus half. Minus half is the answer. Just choose the minus half out of the options being provided. Now we have a d by dx of log Inside this, we have e to the power x multiplied by x minus 2 by x plus 2 to the power 3 by 4. So assume this all to be y. Let me write y here. y is equal to, we have log e raised x, x minus 2 by x plus 2 to the power 3 by 4. So log inside this, we have two terms multiplied together. These two terms are e to the power x into x minus 2 by x plus 2 to the power 3 by 4. So we have log a into b, log a into b is what? Log a plus log b. So you can write this log e to the power x, then plus log x minus 2 divided by x plus 2, 3 by 4 comes in front. Because log a to the power b is b log a. This comes in front. So we have x log e, base is also e in this case. Then 3 by 4 log x minus 2 by x plus 2. Now log e e log e base e is 1. e to the power 1 is e, e to the power 1 is e only. So x plus 3 by 4, now log x minus 2 by x plus 2. Let us differentiate now. Now we are doing the differentiation, d over dx. x is 1, it is 3 by 4, log of content is 1 by that content. That is whatever is inside log, just differentiate and take the reciprocal. So log x minus 2, x plus 2 will be x plus 2 in the numerator, x minus 2 in the denominator. And what about the inside stuff? x plus 2 here, square. Then we have x plus 2, x minus 2, differentiation of x minus 2 is 1 only. So I am not writing it. Minus 
So I have x minus 2, differentiation of x plus 2 also going to be 1 only. So x plus 2 minus x plus 2, x x gets cancelled, you get 4, 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, divided by x plus 2 whole square. So you have 4 by x plus 2 whole square. So what do you have? x plus 2, x minus 2. Here, 4 by x plus 2 whole square. Here you have x plus 2 divided by x minus 2. This you can cancel. You have 4 by x plus 2 into x minus 2, which is a square minus b square, x square minus 4. So a plus b, a minus b is x square minus 4. You have in the numerator 4 by x, x square minus 4. All right. So this x square minus 4 in the denominator, 4 in the numerator, just bring it here. So I'm bringing it here because 4, 4 are going to get cancelled. So finally what we got? x square minus 4 new denominator and 4 is in the numerator. 4, 4, 4 gets cancelled. So we have 1 plus 3 by x square minus 4. Okay, this is uh, LCM I'm taking x square minus 4 plus 3 divided by x square minus 4. x square plus 3 minus 4 is x square minus 1. This is x square minus 1 divided by x square minus 4. So you, this is your answer. Okay. This is your answer. This is y equals under root sign x plus y. It is not sign x plus y. It is sign x plus y. So this is the reference uh, for those who wants, uh, they want to proceed by themselves. So y is equal to under root uh, sign x plus y. Now this is in uh, under root. So what we can do here is we can square both the sides because we have to find out dy by dx. Let us say this. So we have sign x plus y whole square. So root will go y square. Then we'll do the differentiation. Both sides. So I'm doing d by dx on both the sides, either side. So 2y dy by dx is equal to sin x will be equal to cos x. Cos x and then we have a y and then dy by dx because y is dy by dx. Now take dy by dx on one side. So dy by dx I'm taking common. So if you have 2y minus 1 equals cos x. Okay. Now this dy by dx becomes cos x, 2y minus 1 goes into the denominator. This is your final result, okay? So you can you can choose the best option here. Next one is uh, 3 sin xy plus 4 cos xy is equal to 5. Then dy by dx is equal to what? So we will try to find out dy by dx directly and uh, let me tell you the first one is the answer. How does it come or how it is going to come? See. 3 cos uh, sin xy is 3 cos xy. I am differentiating it. And xy, because xy is already there, so xy differentiation will be x divided by dx. I am doing it using the product rule. And y divided by dx of x is 1. So it will be x divided by dx plus y. So let, let us write this x divided by dx plus y. And here we have plus 4 cos xy is minus sin xy. So minus, minus sin xy. And then the xy. So again, same thing x divided by dx plus y. All right, this is equal to 5. Differentiation of 5 or any constant is, is a, always a 0. Now let us uh, take this x dy by dx plus y common because it is this term is in both the main terms. So x dy by dx I am taking common. I am taking this common. What is going to remain? 3 cos xy minus 4 sin xy. Okay, now you see cos and sin uh, has the maximum value of minus 1, 1 and 1. Right, so in either either way, whatever combination is there, it is not going to be zero. So eventually, x divided by dx plus y will be equal to zero. Okay, because these two terms, either of them has to be zero, or both of them has to be zero. So we are taking x divided by dx plus y equals zero. So y goes here minus y. Dy by dx will give you minus y by x. This is your first option. This one. Okay, this question uh, in different exercises is what we have uh, discussed and this has already been done and uh, you can just uh, refer to it if you want to, you know, I can, I can give you a solution also. This is the solution for you. But those who are only doing the multiple choice question, they are already interested in multiple choice question. Let me do it here. So uh, this sine y is equal to x sine a plus y. So we have this sine y equals x sine a plus y. Now dy by dx will do, d by dx of this, both sides. So we are doing d by dx on either side. Sin y will be cos y and there will be a dy by dx also because we are doing it with, with respect to x. Now x sin x, uh, sin a plus y is cos a plus y. Then we have sin a plus y and d by dx of x is 1. d by dx of x is 1. And what will be the final one? Now there is, when you are doing this uh, sin a plus y, there will be a plus y differentiation also. 
So one thing is remaining here, it will be d by dx because a plus y differentiation a is 0 and y, y is d by dx. So a plus y, the final thing will be d by dx. So you have to include this d by dx also in the first term on the right hand side. Okay, now let us take d by dx on one side and then we can do the same thing which we have been doing up till now. We'll take d by dx common. So we have d by dx. Here we have cos y minus x cos a plus y and this is equal to sin a plus y. Alright, okay. Now there is one thing. You see, in the answer, all the four options, there, there is no x on the right hand side. Means the answer, options does not contain x. So x can be computed from the original equation. x is equal to sin y by sin a plus y. So do you have a dx is already there? Cos y. In place of x, let us replace it by sin y by sin a plus y. Sin y by sin a plus y. And then we have cos a plus y here. And this is equal to sin a plus y. Okay. Now let us take LCM. This is cos y into sin a plus y minus sin y into cos a plus y divided by sin a plus y. So just cross multiply and then multiply the denominator and just write it. This is how the LCM is taken here. And then we have in the denominator we have sin a plus y. So let me write sin a plus y here. Okay. This is equal to sin a plus y and since yes, sin a plus y is on the right hand side and it is in the denominator also, we can, we can multiply them and write the sin square. Now you see this sin a cos b minus cos a sin b is what? Sin a minus b. It is sin a minus b only. So sin a plus y minus y, y gets cancelled, it will be sin a in the numerator. And you have sin square a plus y in the denominator already. So this sin a goes in the denominator, so dy by dx equals to sin square a plus y divided by sin a and you must choose the equivalent uh, option from the choices being provided. Sin square a plus y divided by sin a, this is your dy by dx. The derivative of uh, cos inverse 2x square minus 1 with respect to cos inverse x is. So this also question we have uh, already uh, covered while we are doing exercises. But uh, we will do it again. The best thing is uh, to either you do it with cos inverse normal minus 1 by under root 1 minus x square type or you can put something. For example, the first, first thing is u, second thing is v. So u is cos inverse 2x square minus 1. So x is equal to cos theta we are going to put. So theta will give you cos inverse x. Because if you put cos theta, 2 cos square theta minus 1 is cos, th cos 2 theta from trigonometry, we already know that. So we get u is, is equal to cos inverse. And this is 2 cos square theta minus 1. 2 cos square theta minus 1 is cos 2 theta. So I just write cos 2 theta here. And now you can cancel cos and cos inverse. So you'll get 2 theta. And theta is what? Cos inverse x d by dx. d by dx you have to do. So this theta becomes cos inverse x. Write it here, cos inverse x. Now when you differentiate it, it will be minus 1 by under root 1 minus x square. Okay, du by dx is already done. v is already cos inverse x. So you can do directly dv by dx is one, minus 1 by under root 1 minus x square. But if you want to do it the way the first part is being done, you can always uh, put cos theta in, in, in place of x. And that will not give you any benefit because cos inverse cos theta, cos, 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 cos inverse gets cancelled, theta is there, theta is already cos inverse x. So dv by dx will be cos inverse x differentiation which is, which is negative 1 by under root 1 minus x square. So the same thing comes here also. But what we have to do is du by dv. We have found out du by dx and dv by dx. So in order to get du by dv, you need du, du by dx divided by dv by dx. Alright. So what we'll do is, we'll take the, this, this dv by dx and divide it with minus 2 by under root 1 minus x square. So I'll, let me put it here. Under root 1 minus x square is common so it can uh, cancel minus minus gets cancelled. You get a 2. The answer is 2. So the first option in this uh, four options is correct. It is 2. Now fx is under root x square plus 6x plus 9 then f dash x is equal to. Alright. What you have to do, there are two, three questions coming like that. x square plus 6x plus 9. Now this is a square, this is a perfect square. Perfect square. And when you take the square and take the under root, you cancel root with square, you have to put it, the put the final answer in, in uh, in between the absolute values. That is x square plus 9 is 3 square and 6x can be written as 2 into 3x. So it is x plus 3 whole square, a plus b whole square. So this a plus b whole square, which is uh, x plus 3 whole square fx is root x plus 3 whole square. So as I was suggesting, when you cancel this root with the square, you cannot just write uh, x plus 3. Because it can be minus x plus 3 whole square, it can be plus x plus 3 whole square. So it has to be put in inside the absolute uh, value or uh, modulus. So x plus 3 will be positive when x, when x plus 3 is greater than 0, greater than or equal to 0 actually. And minus x minus x plus 3, minus x plus 3, when x is, x plus 3 is less than 0. What do you get from the first one? 
x plus c is greater than equal to 0 is x is greater than equal to minus 3. x plus c is greater than equal to minus 3. This is a simple uh, equality or inequality. And minus x plus 3 when x is less than minus 3. You have here 3, 3. Okay. On left and right, we, we, knew, we know now what we have to do. Actually, it's minus 3. It's not 3 in the graph I showed. F dash x is, what is the differentiation of x plus 3? It is going to be 1. Divide dx of these. We are taking the differentiation now. So, x plus 3 differentiation is 1. Uh, x plus 3 differentiation is 1 and negative is also there. So, it will be negative 1. So, negative 1. So, x is greater than equal to minus 3 and x is less than equal to, uh, x is less than minus 3. 1 for this, negative 1 for this. Now, come to the options. This option minus 1 for x less than uh, minus 3, it is already given. We, have, we found it. So, this is going to be a final answer. This is your answer, okay. fx is modulus of x squared minus 9x plus 20. Now, f dash x is equal to what? Same thing we are going to do, but now you see this x squared minus 9x plus 20 can be written in the form of the factors. What are the factors? And these factors will give you the points, you know, the boundary or the different intervals you have to check. So, x square uh, minus 9x can be written as minus 4x minus 9x and 20 can be written as 20. x take common x minus 4 minus 5 common x minus 4. So, it will be x minus 4 into x minus 5. Okay, x minus 4 into x minus 5. So, basically uh, the, the point of actually uh, the intervals can be found out using putting it as 0. So, x minus 4 equal to 0, so x is equal to 4. x minus 5 is equal to 0 is x equal to 5. So, 4 and 5 are the points. So, we have what intervals? Minus in infinity to 4, 4 to 5 and 5 to infinity. Since it is, it is modulus, it will be plus for something and negative for something. So, we will find out the fx. So, negative infinity to 4, it is going to be positive. How is this positive? If you have any, any uh, say, doubt, just put the value. Just put some value, like, like uh, 3. If you put 3x minus 3, 3 minus 5, so what, do you, what are you going to get? This So, minus infinity to uh, 4, you need to put value and you will see what value will come. So, it will be positive. Okay? 3 minus 4 is minus 1, 3 minus 5 is minus 2, so you will get a positive. The second uh, interval is 4 to 5. Now you put any value. Again, put any value. Uh, just put 4.5, for example. 4 and 5. 4 and 5 are not inclusive. Please remember. 4 and 5 are not incl inclusive. So, uh, any doubt? Just put the value between 4 and 5. So, this is going to be 4.5. X, uh, X minus 4 is 4.5 minus 4. And X minus 5 is 4.5 minus 5. This is going to be 0.5. This is going to be minus 0.5. So, whatever comes, uh, we are not concerned with the number. We are concerned with the sign. So, it will be negative x square minus 9x plus 20. Now, go up or go above 5. 5, that is, you have to go above 5. 5 and infinity. 5 is inclusive here. So, when you go up, just put the value of 5. 5 minus 4 is 1. 5 minus 5 is 0. Or you put 6. 6 minus 2, 6 minus 4 is 2. 6 minus 5 is uh, 1. 2 into 1 is 2. So, x square minus 9x plus 20. So, this is the most critical point of this question. If you understand this, other things will be very easy. Now, let us do the f dash x. Take the differentiation. So, it will be 2x minus 9. And the intervals are very important. Minus infinity to 4. x square minus 9x plus 20. x square will be 2x. I am differentiating it. And 9x differentiation will be minus 9. Again, same thing. 2x minus 9. And negative will be outside. Same thing. And the interval will be 4 and 4. 4 and 5. Again, x square minus 9x plus 20, d to x minus 9 is, is the differentiation. So, just write the intervals properly because the answer, the options are also giving you a hint of the intervals. So, these are the intervals I am writing and now let us go. Okay, minus 2x minus 9 is divided by minus inside, it will be minus 2x plus 9. So, minus 2x plus 9 between 4 and 5 is given in the question. This is minus 2x plus 9. So, if you see the third option, it is actually matching what we did just now. Okay, it is not uh, minus two x plus nine is the first option also, but for it is it is for x belongs to R, but we got it for four and five between eight four and five minus two x plus nine is the answer. Okay, so this this is the answer which I'm highlighting here. Now we have f x is equal to under root x square minus ten x plus twenty five, then the derivative of f x in the interval zero to seven. Now in between this interval we have to find out or tell the derivative. Now, is it a perfect square x square minus 10x plus 25? So, those who want to themselves, this is the reference and those who want to understand, let me tell them. This is x square minus 10x plus 25. So, how can we write it? x square, this 25 can be written as minus 5x minus 5x minus 10x can be written in terms of 25. So, we have x, x minus 5, then we have minus 5, 
then we have x minus 5. So it is basically x minus 5 whole squared. So when you take the under root of this, and you are always know under root x square will be equal to modulus of x. Okay, when it comes out, it will be modulus of x minus 5. So mod, we have a same strategy, modulus x or modulus anything. This x minus 5 or modulus x minus 5 will be positive for content greater than 0. For x minus 5 greater than equal to 0, this is going to be x minus 5, positive x minus 5. For x minus 5 less than 0, this will be negative x minus 5. So x minus 5 greater than equal to 0, that means x is greater than equal to 5. So we have x minus 5 when x is greater than equal to 5. x minus 5 less than 0, what does it mean when x is less than 5? So if, when x is less than 5, it will be negative x minus 5. So this is your fx. Now we are interested in the derivative. So when we take the derivative f dash x, f dash x will be, what is the differentiation of x minus 5? x is 1, 5 is 0, so it will be 1 x is greater than equal to 5. Minus x minus 5, x minus 5 will be 1, so minus 1, it will be x less than 5. See, now in order to understand, it is better to understand on a number line. So we have, this is 5. So if you are above 5, you will get 1. If you are below 5, you are, you are going to get minus 1. It goes up to negative infinity. Now, the range or the interval given to us is 0 to 7. Now, in this 0 to 7, both things are coming. From 5 to 7, you will get 1. From 5 to 0 or 0 to 5, you will get minus 1. In derivative terms, this is not possible or the derivative is not possible. Okay. So, the derivative is not possible because we have the range between 0 and 7, which is giving us the different values of the derivative in this range. All right. So, none of these is the answer. Next one is if fx is equal to modulus of x minus 3, gx is f of fx, then for x greater than 10, g dash x is equal to. Now, this fx is given as modulus of x minus 3. Please remember is this question, in this question, x is greater than 10. So, mod will be positive if the mod is greater than or equal to 0. It will be negative x minus 3 if x minus 3 is less than, equal, less than 0. So what do you get? x minus 3 when x is greater than or equal to 0, x minus 3 minus x minus 3 if x minus 3 is less than 0 or x is less than 3. x is less than 3. Alright? So this is how we get the fx. But it is x greater than 10. So x is greater than uh, 3. The question is given x is, x is greater than 10. So you will always take x minus 3 only. No question about taking minus x minus 3. Alright? So we will have this fx equals to x minus 3. Okay. I hope you got the idea. Now, now let us take the modulus of, because f of fx will be mod x minus 3 inside x minus 3. That is f of fx. So mod x minus 3 is there. In place of x, you have to replace it by mod x minus 3. So you have mod x minus 3, you have to replace x by mod x minus 3 minus 3. Now, when you take f of fx, we have already done that. You, we, are, we have started calling it as gx. So, when we have x greater than 10, we know that mod x minus 3, already we have done that it is x minus 3. So, x minus 3 minus 3 is what? x minus 6 modulus. Now, in this case also, modulus of x minus 3, x, this will be positive x minus 3 when x minus uh, 6 is, x minus 6 is greater than or equal to 0, that is x is greater than or equal to 6. It will be minus x minus 6 when x is less than 6. Okay. So x is greater than 10 already given, so you have to take x minus 6 in this case. So the x minus 6 is the answer. So gx is x minus 6. But you need to find out g dash x. What is g dash x? It is going to be 1. Because differentiation of x is 1. Minus 6 is of course 0. So gx is equal to 1. So this is the answer. g dash x equal to 1. And those who want to do themselves, this is the reference for them. But the better idea is to understand what I said fx is equal to this term. Now this term, at first, saying that this is the first glance, it may seem typical. It may seem typical, but it is not. It is not. How? You see, we have a proper algebraic understanding. We have the first one. So all the things will be like this. So x to the power l divided by x to the power m, 
x to the power l, x to the power m goes up, it will be x to the power minus m. So when you add this, it will be x to the power l minus m. You add the power of same base. So this will be for others also. The first one will be x to the power l minus m. Now you have l plus m also. And when you have these two, it is basically x to the power l minus m into l plus m. It is l minus m into l plus m. That is a plus b, a minus b. So it will be a square minus b square. That is l square minus m square you will get. So for the first term, you will get x to the power l square minus m square. Now the same thing for the others. x to the power m minus n, it will be, it will be x to the power n minus l. And we have m, in, m plus n also. So x to the power m plus n into m minus n, that is m square minus n square. Similarly, we have x to the power n minus l. Multiply it with n plus l. So n minus l into n plus l will be n square minus l square. This is n square minus l square. So x to the power these three thing, the power will be added because of the same base. It will be s square minus m square plus m square minus n square plus n square minus l square. Now what do you get? This is going to be zero. m square m square gets cancelled. n square n square gets cancelled. l square l square gets cancelled. You get x to the power zero. And anything to the power zero is one. So this is one, but the answer is not one. Why? Because the question is asking about f dash x. So we have just found the solved version, easy version of fx, which has come to one. But the answer should be the f dash x. So you have to differentiate one. So f dash x of one, that is differentiation of one will be zero. Divide dx of one is zero. So this is going to be zero. The answer is zero in this case. Again, the same thing. It's all algebra, nothing else. If you are well in algebra, you have studied your initial class as well. It will be quite easy. Now, let me uh, take one of these. So I'm taking the denominator now. X to the power A minus B can be written as X to the power A into X to the power minus B. That is X to the power A and this X to the power minus B comes in the denominator. So we have X to the power B. So X raised A divided by X raised B. This is X to the power A by X to the power B. So what will become, the denominator will become like x plus 1 plus x to the power a by x to the power b. This x to the power c minus b will be x to the power c by x to the power b. Others also will be the same thing, 1 by 1 plus x raised b by x raised c. Then we have x a minus c. So we have x to the power a by x to the power c plus 1 by 1 plus x power b divided by x a plus x raised c divided by x raised a. Now see one of these. If you understand the one of these, you will understand all the three terms. So I am taking the denominator here. It will be, because x to the power b is, can be taken as the LCM. So we will take the LCM, x to the power b. So it will be x to the power b, the first, first one. The second one will remain as x to the power a. Third one will be x raised c. And this, this was one divided by this thing. So x raised b will go in the numerator. So x raised b divided by x raised a plus x raised b, x raised c. I'm just arranging it. It was x raised b, x raised a, x raised c. I, I have arranged it. Similarly here also, in the you can take the analogy also. x to the power c will go up. In the denominator, same thing. x raised a, x raised b, x raised c. Just add them. Then we have the denominator, same case. x, x raised a will go up. This will be x raised a plus x raised b plus x raised c. So x a, x b, x c. Now you have denominator as the same thing. So this will be x raised a plus x raised b plus x raised c. In the numerator it will be all these th three terms to be added. I am taking x to the power a first. Okay, just to uh, have, you know, on an order. So x raised a plus x raised b plus x raised c in the numerator and the same in the denominator. Okay, now you can cancel these two and this is going to be one. So let us uh, take it as fx. Now you have to find divided by dx, so you have to find f dash x, it is going to be 0, divide dx is 0, so the answer is 0 here. Now uh, we have under root 1 minus x6 plus under root 1 minus y6 equals a cube x cube minus y cube, then dy by dx is equal to. So how do you do this? We can make it uh, simpler because x raised 6, if you can write it as x to the power 3 to the power 2 or x to the power 2 to the power 3, both are the th same thing. Because 6 can be written as 2 into 3, either power you can take. Now under 1 minus x cube to the power 2, we can take x cube as say sine a. 
and when you have under root 1 minus sin square a it will be cos square a so finally under root of cos square a will be cos so x cube if you take it as sin a it will be 1 minus sin square a 1 minus sin square a under root 1 minus sin square a will be cos square a under root of cos square a will be cos a all right so th that's why we will be taking x to the power 3 as sin a y to the power 3 as sin b so this will become 1 minus x to the power 6 I, I told you how to write this y to the power 6 similarly will take y cube to the power 2 so y cube to the power 2 y cube we have taken as sin b so it will be sin under root 1 minus sin square a plus under root 1 minus sin square b alright so it is going to be sin square b this is going to be a cube and x cube is already sin a so sin a minus sin b so this is going to be as i told you under root 1 minus sin square a 1 minus sin square a is cos square a under root of cos square a will be cos a so cos a plus this will be cos b is equal to a this is going to be uh, a cube sin a minus sin b now don't worry about a because it is going to get cancelled you will see that because this cos a plus cos b is 2 cos a plus b by 2 cos a minus b by 2 2 cos a plus b by 2 cos a minus b by 2 a sin a minus sin b is 2 here sin a minus b by 2 cos a plus b by 2 cos a plus b by 2 ok now you can cancel these cos a plus b by 2 you can cancel 2 you can cancel right now whether it is a cube or a doesn't matter you'll just see because only cos a minus b by 2 and sin a minus b by 2 and a remains so better is to take this a if you take a or a cube and take the sin a minus b by 2 to left hand side so cos a minus b by 2 divided by sin a minus b by 2 is, is equal to a or a cube whichever you want to say is going to cancel anyways now we have this cot a minus b by 2 equals a a minus b by 2 is cot inverse of the constant value 2 a minus b is equal to 2 cot inverse a a you have taken as x cube was sin a so a will be sin inverse of x cube a is sin inverse of x cube here b is equal to sin inverse of y cube so a you can write it as sin inverse of x cube b is sin inverse of y cube and this is 2 cot inverse a now you can take the differentiation this is the sim simply simplification right hand side whatever constant is there cot of anything constant is going to be 0 so we will take the differentiation 1 by under 1 minus content square content is, is x cube x cube square is simply x to the power 6 see this can be done done easily also right so 1 by under root 1 minus y cube square that is y to the power 6 y to the power 6 ok y cube differentiation is 3y square x, x cube differentiation is uh, 3x square alright now uh, let me find some place I don't want to rub it ok so this is going to be I'm writing very in, in the short letters right 3x square under root 1 minus x to the power 6 is equal to 3y square divided by under root 1 minus y to the power 6 3 3 gets cancelled and since we have uh, this dy by dx so when we did sin inverse y cube when we did 3y square it is dy by dx also one thing is remaining so I am now introducing this dy by dx here so dy by dx will be with the y so dy by dx will be not take everything on the one side well, dy by dx on one side so what do you get under root 1 minus y to the power 6 under root 1 minus x to the power 6 then you have x square and y square so x square by y square it will be this is y square so this is your final answer all right if y is equal to log under root 10x then the value of dy by dx at x equals pi by 4 is given by so we have already done this question in the previous exercises so this is just a remembrance for you recalling now let us differentiate this log of anything will be 1 by that thing so y, y is log under root 10x dy by dx is equal to 1 by under root 10x and twice of that 1 by under root 10x is for log 
then under root 10x will be 1 by twice of under root 10x. Then 10x, then 10x differentiation is x square x. Under root, under root cancels out always. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 power is 1. So it will be only 1 by 2 under root 10x, under root 10x will give you 10x. Then you have x square in the denominator. At x equals to pi by 4 you have to do. So what is 10 pi by 4? 10 45 degree. It is going to be 1. Sec square because cos pi by 4 is what? 1 by root 2. So sec pi by 4 will be equal to root 2. When you have a square it will be under root 2 whole square that is going to give you 2. So you have 2 divided by 2 and 10 pi by 4 is 1. So 2 2 gets cancelled you only get 1. So the answer is 1 here. Sign inverse x square minus y square by x square plus y square is equal to log a. a is a constant. So we have to find out dy by dx. Those who want to take the reference and do it by themselves, the answer is given. Now those who want to understand, let us start. Sign inverse x square minus y square divided by x square plus y square and this is equal to log a. Now this a is a constant. So differentiation of log a or a it will be 0. So sign we are taking on the right hand side so it will become sign. Sign inverse will become sign. So this content inside sign inverse on the right the sign inverse will take log a. Sign log a. Now what is the benefit? When we when we'll do d by dx differentiation the right hand side uh, will be 0. So we just have to do the differentiation of this part, this one. So we'll use the quotient rule x square plus y square here. Then we have x square minus y square differentiation. Let us see what the differentiation will be x square minus y square, it will be 2x minus 2y divided by dx. So let us write, write it here. 2x minus 2y dy by dx. Okay, on the right hand side, it doesn't matter, but we have to do one more thing. x square minus y square, now differentiation of x square plus y square. So x square plus y square will be similar. x square will be 2x, y square will be 2y and dy by dx. So just write it here. 2x plus 2y dy by dx. 2y dy by dx and this is the numerator and this is equal to 0 okay so this this 0 is simply because of the constant on the right hand side now we have a square also in the denominator because we are following the quotient rule so x square plus y square will be in the denominator let me write it it will be x square plus y square now this uh, has no uh, you know point because this x square plus y square when it is multiplied by the right hand side it is going to be 0 only. So we are only interested in the numerator. So now let us multiply 2x cube minus 2x square y dy by dx and then y square multiplication with this one. So 2xy square then minus 2y cube dy by dx. 2y cube dy by dx. So this is the multiplication. Okay. Now when you have the denominator as 0 means when it is multiplied with the right hand side it will be 0. So the point is this negative thing can be taken on the right hand side. That will make it pretty easy. You will see just now. So I am multiplying now bringing it on the right hand side. It will be 2x cube plus 2x square y dy by dx and then we have this multiplication of x square already done now y square. So minus 2xy square then minus 2y cube dy by dx. 2y cube dy by dx. Now you see there are two terms on the left and right which are similar. 2x cube, 2x cube we can cancel. And the last one, minus 2y cube dy by dx. That can be cancelled. Other things remains like that only. So I am cancelling the first and the fourth term of both the side. So this, this we can also rearrange because dy by dx we are going to bring it on the one side. So better is to take the negative and make it positive on the right hand side. So this 2x y square is already there. I am bringing 2xy square from the right hand side to the left hand side. It will become 4xy square. And this is uh, 2x square y and 2x square y that will be 4x square y with dy by dx. So when you add this it will, it will be 4x square y. Now what you can do is you can do certain uh, cancellations here. 4 4 gets cancelled. 1x is cancelled by 1x. 1y will be cancelled by 1y. So we have y and x only left. So x dy by dx equals to y. Now what you can do is dy by dx is y by x. Okay, dy by dx is equal to y by x. This is your answer. This is this is the option you have to choose. Sin y equals to x cos a plus y. Then dy by dx is equal to. So this uh, from here we have to bring 
x on one side or make this sin y equals to x cos a plus y because we are going to use this x in the later part. So x will be sin y by cos a plus y. That, that is we are going to use in a short while. And now let us differentiate on both the sides. Those who want to them, do themselves, they can just take a reference here and they can just move on. And uh, those who want to understand, let us now start with differentiating both the sides. So I'm doing d by dx on both the sides. Sin y is cos y, then dy by dx, and then is equal to. This is going to be a into b form, so it will be a product rule we will take. x cos a plus y will be minus sin a plus y. Then differentiation of a plus y will be what? a is 0, y is dy by dx. So dy by dx will remain here. Now, this plus. So now cos a plus y will remain like that, d by dx of x. That, that is going to be 1. So I'm not writing it. That is 1 only. Now, bring this uh, dy, by, dy by dx term together. So when you bring it together, you'll see this x can be replaced by sin y by cos a plus y. So if I replace this x by sin y divided by cos a plus y, a plus y, uh, sin a plus y is already there. And then we have dy by dx. And this is plus cos a plus y. And on the left we have cos y dy by dx as I, as I told you. Cos y dy by dx uh, and that dy by dx terms has to be combined together. So I'm taking dy by dx and bringing the right hand side term on the left hand side. And taking dy by dx common, cos x will remain here only. Uh, sin y into sin a plus y divided by cos a plus y will remain. And on right hand side we have cos a plus y already there. Now take the LCM now, cross multiply and then multiply the denominator terms. So cos a plus y into cos, cos a into cos a plus y. Then we have sin a plus y into sin y. And in the denominator we have cos a plus y. This cos a plus y. So we know that cos a plus y is already in the denominator. We can just multiply it with the right hand side cos a plus y, cos square a plus y being there. So dy by dx will be this term equals cos square a plus y. So this is cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. Cos a cos b plus sin a sin b is what? Cos a minus b. That is cos a plus y minus y. Cos a plus y minus y. So it will be only cos a. dy by dx equals cos square a plus y. So this cos a can be taken in the denominator and that will be a final answer. So dy by dx is equal to cos square a plus y divided by cos a. And you see this is the option you have to choose from four options being provided to you in this multiple choice question. This question we already taken uh, previously. Now if y is equal to log 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square, then dy by dx will be equal to. So we'll do it uh, with the normal way what we generally do. dy by dx is what? Log of anything will be 1 by that thing. Okay. So we have 1 plus x square by 1 minus x square. That is whatever was there, we just uh, took the right and left. Uh, that is the numerator converted to denominator like that. And we have, then we have uh, the 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square that will be using the 1 minus x square, uh, 1 plus x square is there, so 1 plus x square into 1 minus x square, 1 minus x square differentiation is minus 2x, then minus, we have 1 minus x square, 1 plus x square differentiation will be 2x. So let us write it here, we have, we have just followed the quotient rule for 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square that you already know. Now I am cancelling 1, 1 plus x square because 1 plus x square is uh, square in the denominator, so 1 can be cancelled. Uh, if I write uh, this denominator as a square minus b square and a plus a square plus b square, rather a minus b and a plus b, a is 1 square, b is x square. So a plus b into a minus b will be what? a square minus b square, that is 1 square minus x square whole square. So 1 square minus x square whole square is 1, 1 minus x to the power 4. 1 minus x to the power 4. So any of these can be true, first, second and fourth one. I am taking minus 2x common from here, from the numerator. Minus 2x when we take common, this uh, this already taken common. And so please remember, minus 2x has been taken common. So 1 plus x square will be there and the inside one will become plus because already minus 2x has been taken common. So 1 plus x square plus 1 minus x square minus x square minus plus x square gets cancelled. 1 plus 1 is 2. So inside thing will be 2 and outside will be minus 2x. The 2 into minus 2x is minus 4x, negative 4x. So let us write it here, minus 4x. So minus 4x by 1 minus x to the power 4 is your final answer. y is equal to under root sin x plus y, then dy by dx equals. Again, this question already taken in VSAQ, very short answer question. So, what we'll do is we'll square both the sides because under root can be eliminated from here. So, y is equal to under root sin x plus y, square will be sin x plus y only remain. 
Now you can take this y on the left hand side or you can do it here only. It, it uh, hardly matters because ultimately dy by dx has to be combined together. So 2y dy by dx, I'm taking the differentiation is equal to sin x will be cos x. And this y will be dy by dx plus dy by dx. Now bring this dy by dx from right to left. It will be dy by dx on, on the outside and it will be 2y minus 1 is equal to cos x. Now this uh, 2y minus 1 will be going to the denominator of the right hand side. So dy by dx will be equal to cos x by 2y minus 1. And that will be the option you are going to choose in the four options being given in this multiple choice question. All right. y is equal to 10 inverse sin x plus cos x by cos x minus sin x. Then dy by dx will be equal to. Okay. This also we have uh, taken uh, when we were doing the exercises. Uh, but we'll do it uh, here. See, tan inverse of anything will be 1 by 1 plus square of that thing. So first we will perform this thing. 1 by 1 plus square of sin x plus cos x by cos x minus sin x. I'm doing the di differentiation. So 1 by 1 plus x square. So 1 by 1 plus this coordinate square. Sin x plus cos x divided by cos x minus sin x. So numerator also you can write cos x plus sin x because it will be it will look good. Now this is square. This is the differentiation of only 10 inverse. The inner content has to be done. With that we'll do later. First let us see what we get here. Okay. Now I'll take the LCM here. I'm taking LCM. So cos x minus sin x whole square. And then we have plus sin x plus cos x whole square. In the denominator of the denominator because it is 1 by. So we're taking the denominator only right now. Cos x minus sin x whole square. Now open it up. The numerator, this is 1 by, okay, whatever will come, we have to invert it. We have to take the reciprocal. So this is a minus b whole square, a plus b whole square, we'll just open it. And this is cos square plus sin square minus 2 sin cos and plus sin square plus cos square minus 2 sin cos. This 2 sin cos can, can be cancelled. So we have twice of cos square plus twice of sin square. You can take two common sin square plus cos square, it is going to be 1. Sin square theta plus cos square theta is going to be 1. So you only get 2 in the numerator. And the, the denominator is cos x minus sin x whole square. But as I told you, that this is nothing by 1, 1 divided by. So we have to take the reciprocal. So this cos x minus sin x whole square will go up and 2 will come in the denominator. You'll see what will happen just now. So the final thing is this one. Cos x minus sin x whole square in the numerator, 2 in the denominator. Now we have just done the 10 inverse part. Now the internal part has to be done again. And this has to be done using the question rule. So I'll just write it in the short form because of the lack of the space. Okay. So we have a cos x minus sin x whole square. We'll get cos x minus sin x here. And differentiation of sin x plus cos x. Sin x is cos x and cos x is minus sin x. So you'll get cos minus sin. Same thing which we got uh, the first term. Minus. Since cos minus sin we have taken first. So now we'll take here sin x plus cos x. So cos x plus sin x. And now we'll differentiate cos x minus sin x. So uh, cos x is minus sin x and sin x is cos x. So minus sin x minus cos x. So there is a change here. I'm writing sin x minus cos x, but I'll just change it because I told you cos x minus sin x differentiation will be different. Cos x differentiation is minus sin x. Uh, sin x is already uh, minus in minus. So sin x differentiation will be cos x. So it will be minus sin x minus cos x. So we can take minus common from here. So it will be when you take minus common, it will be minus sin x plus cos x. And this minus will make them in between minus s plus. So this minus in between will become plus and now the things are okay. So numerator will be cos minus sin whole square. Cos plus sin whole square that we already done. You, you see the top right. We already done that. So you can directly write but I'll just show you. So this uh, in the denominator we have cos minus sin whole square. So this is this was, this was two if you remember. Uh, denominator is cos minus sin whole square. So it, it was already there cos minus sin whole square. I'm now writing the first term which we already did. This gets cancelled. 2 2 gets cancelled. You get a 1. So the differentiation is going to be 1. Okay, this was the final installment of this MCQ of differentiation. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.